Hello dear viewers, myself Nasir and you are watching Mr. Zali's YouTube channel. We are going to look upon a locomotion and movement. Locomotion is a voluntary movement resulting in a change in a location. Means to say when a person moves from one place to another as a whole, that is called locomotion. It He moves uh, uh, by carrying all its body parts or all its contents with itself. All locomotion are movements. But all movements are not locomotion, means to say all animals cannot move from one place to another place like plants. Locomotion and movement are interlinked. For example, in paramecium cilia help in the movement of food through cytopharynx and locomotion. Whereas hydra uses tentacles to capture prey and for locomotion. Limbs help to change body po uh, postures and for locomotion in humans. Amipied movement by sodopodia formed by streaming of protoplasm means to say sodopodia are fast projections. Cytoskeletal elements like microfilaments also help for this and for example macrophages and leukocytes. Ciliary movement is by cilia like cilia in trachea to remove foreign substances and oviducts for passage of ova for flowing ova. Whereas muscular movement is by muscles for example movements of limb, tongue and jaw. You can see a uh, clear moving, uh, movement of the uh, uh, amoeba, amoeba with the help of sodopodia uh, from one place to another place. These are fast foods. These are formed as uh, required by the animal. You can see here the movement of limbs uh, of different body areas as uh, humans are working out. Uh, so they have better developed muscles. So these are the muscular movements. And these are the examples how sperm moves uh, from uh, humans to uh, humans copulatory organs to the females inside uh, ovary and uh, of each oviduct from where fertilization takes place and how euglena moves you can see in the diagram also. Human muscular system includes muscles which are mesodermal in origin uh, comes from mesoderm. Muscles con constitute 40 to 50 percent of the body weight. Muscles have excitability, contractibility and extensibility as well as elasticity. They can contract and relax, they can come back to the original position, they can be stretched, they can be increased in their size. Uh, like the normal persons do not have biceps, triceps uh, uh, as well as six packs and thigh, uh, thigh, uh, thigh pairs. So these pairs are formed by the help of exercise like persons do in the gym and develop their muscles better in, in the region. Based on location, muscles are of three types. Uh, skeletal muscles are striated or voluntary, whereas visceral muscles are non striated or smooth, and cardiac muscles are present in heart. So, cardiac muscles are also involuntary. Visceral or non striated smooth muscles are also involuntary, found in uh, stomach and organs, whereas skeletal muscles are found in muscles, they are voluntary in action. Skeletal or striated muscles are attached to the skeleton. Striations or cross walls are present between one cell to another cell. They are voluntary. They are under our conscious control. They have rich blood supply, means to say blood vessels are present in them. Fatigue muscles, they undergo a stress or can accumulate lactic acid when doing hard exercise. Muscle fiber is multinucleate, means to say symptom. More mitochondria are present as they grow. As you uh, work hard on them, they become better or they become large in size. If we talk about visceral smooth muscles, they uh, they are found in visceral organs. Striations are absent. Cross walls are not present. They are involuntary in action, not under under conscious control of brain. Poor blood supply means to say not proper blood vessels are present. They are non fatigue. They do not get. Uh, uh, they do not need any rest. They are uninucleate. Only one nucleus is present, and only less mitochondria are present. If we talk about cardiac muscles found only in heart wall, striations are present. Cross walls are present from one cell to another cell. They are also involuntary in action, not over conscious control of our brain. They have rich blood supply, proper arteries, veins, capillaries are present, and non fatigable uh, uninucleate contains one nucleus and more mitochondria are present in it. Comparison of muscles at a glance skeletal, visceral, and cardiac one by one, attached to skeleton in visceral organs in heart wall. They are their locations. Striations are present, striations are absent, striations are present. Voluntary in action, involuntary in action, involuntary in action. Rich blood supply, poor blood supply, rich blood supply. Fatigue muscle get uh, fatigued, uh, non fatigable, non fatigable. Uh, multinucleate contains more than one nucleus, uninucleate, one nucleus, uninucleate, one nucleus. More mitochondria, less mitochondria, more mitochondria. That was all for today's. We will meet you in the next video. Till then, peace out.